Hello, the Attitudes. Welcome back to class. I'm Cami, and this is Fitness Foundations. All right, my friends, we are going to be using weights, a little bit of ball, and a little bit of band today. So uh, grab it all. Make sure you got it with you. Um, I've been tinkering with the format and how we're doing it a little bit. Um, changing up a little bit today. We're gonna, I'm trying to change it so we're doing a little bit more weight work so you get, get a little bit more uh, muscle strength out of it. So, whatever. Leave me your comments uh, if you want to. Um, otherwise, I'll just keep changing things around. So, I want you to come on up to standing because with every class, I want you to start out with a little bit of a warm up. You ready? March your right. It's right and left. Right and left. Pull those abs in. Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Heels to the front with a push. 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 Four more. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. For eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, toes to the back with a reach. Straight arm, straight leg, reach, reach, reach. Last four, four, three, two, and one. March it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Roll the shoulders with the heel. It's roll. Roll, roll, roll. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Heel jacks. Arms and heels. Arms and heels. Good. Little coordination. Four more like this. Four. Three, two, one, cross in front, it's cross and open, cross and open, cross, cross, last four, four, three, two, and one, march it out, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, little kick to the front, it's kick and kick. Keep it low and controlled. Abs stay tight. Good. Out of push. Four, three, two, one. Overhead for four, three, two, one. Out to the side. Push it. Four, three, two, and one. March it out for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just your heels. Heel and in. Heel and in. Heel. One more. Point your toe for four, three, two, and one. All right. We're going to remain standing. Grab your hand weights and join me back here. Okay, we're going to start out with a little straight arm rotation. We're going to warm up those rotator cuffs before we get into it. In and out. Good. Couple more. Three, two, and one. Bend those elbows. All right. We're going to rotate in near that belly button. Heels are optional, but do it if you can. It's in with the heel, in with the heel, in, in. Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Now, 
figure out where you want to be. We're not using the legs anytime soon. We're going to do a little bit of upper body. So you can be behind or in front of the chair, wherever you want. All right, our first one, we're going to bend those elbows. We're going to glue those weights together. We're going to have our arms underneath the weights. And we're going to move them as one single unit. We're going to halo right around the face, making a circle around the face. All right? So we're going to go to the right first. Here we go. Take it around. For eight, take it around. For seven, using the shoulders, around. For six, take it around. For five, take it around. For four, around. For three, around. For two, one more. Around. And one. Okay, relax those arms. What are we doing next? Oh, so we're doing a uh, bent arm lateral lift. So bend those elbows, hands right in front of those biceps. Okay, we're gonna lift and pour. It's like this. Lift and pour and bring it in. Here we go. Eight, hold and in, lift. Seven, hold and in, lift. Six, Hold and in, lift. Five, hold and in, lift. Four, hold and in, lift. Three, hold and in, lift. Two, hold and in, one more. One, hold and in, relax those arms. Okay, straight up hammer curl, looks like this. Curl it up for eight and down, exhale. Seven, and down. Six, and down. Five, and down. Four, elbows pointed to the floor. Bend. Three, and down. Two more. Two, and down. One more. One, and down. Okay. So now we're going to use those legs, move those feet into neutral, meaning your heels are right below the edges of your pelvic bones. Now we've got the weight right in front of the legs. We're going to do a deadlift for the back of our legs. So we're hinging forward from the hips, not from the waist, from the hips. So when you come forward, you're going to feel like you're pushing your butt behind you. Those weights aren't going any lower than your knees. You're keeping your eyes on me. When you get to this position, I'm going to cue you to come up. You're going to squeeze your buns to lift the entire torso up. So if you have back problems, then this should be perfect for you because we're not using the back at all. Okay. All right. So check your feet, check your posture. Two counts down, two counts up. It's down to the knees, up, squeeze the buns. Eight, down, down, up for seven, down down, up, for six, down, down, up, for five, keep your eyes on me, up, for four, down, down, up, for three, down, down, up, for two, down, down, up, and one. Okay, last one in the series, hands in front. We're going to pop those elbows out to the side, lift them up, bring them down. Don't bend the wrists. Keep your elbows higher than the wrists. It's eight. Hold and down. Squeeze the back. Seven. Hold and down. Lift. Six. Elbows out to the side, not behind you. Five. And down. Exhale. Four. And down. Lift. Three, and down, lift. Two, and down, one more. One, and down. All right, shake it out, shake it out, get all loose. Okay, we're going back to the beginning. So the beginning of this set is that rotation around the face. So, glue those weights together, hold them flat to the floor. This time we're going to the left. Here we go, take it around. For eight, take it around. For seven, take it around. For six, around. 
For five, take it around. For four, around. For three, around. Two, around. And one. Okay, split those arms. Okay, let them relax for just a moment because we're bending them. We're going back to that bent arm lateral lift or your lift and pour. Okay, nice tall spines. Ready, here you go. Lift and pour and bring it in for eight. Seven, hold and in. Lift six, hold and in. Lift five. Hold and in, exhale four and in, lift three and in, lift two and in, one more, one and in, arms go straight down. All right, hammer curl straight up. It's bend to the shoulders and down. There's it. Seven, hold and down, lift. Six, hold and down, lift. Five, hold and down, lift. Four, hold and down, lift. Three, hold and down, lift. Two, hold, down, one more. One, hold and down. All right, check your feet. We're going back to those deadlifts. Now, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. We're hinging forward from the hips with a flat back. Look what happens when I look at my toes. My back gets all rounded. Keep your head up, okay? Now, if you bend from the waist, it looks like this too. We don't want that nasty posture. All right, from the hips, two counts down, two counts up. It's down to the knees, up for eight, down, down, up for seven, down, down. Up for six, down, down, up for five, head up, down, up for four, down, down, up for three, down, down, up for two, down, down, up, and one. Beautiful. Okay, we got one more. We're back to that upright row. So weights back in front, stand up nice and tall. Elbows out to the side, not behind you. Here we go. Lift it up, pinch the back, and down for eight. Seven, hold, and down. Lift, six, hold, and down. Five, hold, and down. Four, hold, and down. Lift three, hold, down. Lift two, hold, down. One more. One, hold, and down. All right. We're gonna put these in the chair. We're gonna do some functional exercise, so no toys, but we're coming to the side of the chair. All right. Now notice we didn't do a whole lot of legs this time. That's because I was saving it up for this portion. Now we're gonna get into some squats. So I want you on the right side of the chair, I want you to be able to hold on, and we're going to squat. When you squat, you're gonna stick your butt behind you. Those knees stay behind the edges of your toes. Don't throw them forward. We're gonna stand. We're gonna do a knee kick knee and return. Sounds like a lot, it's not, okay? So we're gonna do a squat, stand, kick, return. We're only kicking with the right leg on this side. We're gonna do all of our reps here, and then we'll travel to the other side and do the left leg. All right, so feet in neutral. Hold that chair. Okay, we're starting with the squat. You ready? Looks like this. Squat, stand, knee kick, return, down, up, eight, return, down, up, seven, down, Down, up, five, down, up, four, squat, down, up, three, return, down, up, two, one more, down, up, 
and one. Okay, let's go to the other side of the chair. Same thing over here. We're squatting, we're standing. It's a knee kick, knee and return. All the kicks are gonna be done on that left foot. Okay, you ready? Abs are tight. Here we go. It's squat, stand, knee kick, return, down, up, eight, down, up, seven, down, up, six, down, up, five, down, up, four, down, up, three, down, up, two, down, up, and one. Beautiful job. Okay, we're gonna remain standing. I want you to grab your ball and join me. We're doing hamstring curls while we're up here. Checking my time. All right, put that ball there. Now, you are welcome to move behind the chair and use both hands to hold on if you want. Okay, put that ball between your thighs north of your knees. Now, holding on is optional. It's a pretty stable move. We're bending the knees. It's right and left. Right, left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, second set. It's eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now, keep that ball right there. You can hold on if you want to. We're going to do some calf raises. We're lifting the heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, take that ball out. Go ahead and have a seat. You can move those weights out. We're changing gears completely. We're going to the band. Ooh, feels good to sit down, huh? All right, come forward in your chair. We're working the back muscles. All right, and take your band. You're gonna extend one leg, doesn't matter which one, we're gonna do them both. And take that band around that shoe. Your knee is locked in and I want you to cross your band. Palms are facing in. Keep your heel on the ground. Okay, that's part of the exercise. So fight against that band. Okay, we're pulling the elbows back. Pull it back, squeeze the back and release. Okay, seated rows, here we go. It's back for eight, release, exhale. Seven, hold, release, pull. Six, hold, release, pull. Five, hold, release, pull. Four, hold, release, pull. Three, hold, release, pull. Two, hold, release, one more. One, hold and release. Okay, we're gonna switch feet. That's why I told you it didn't matter. It doesn't. Okay, but you're gonna straighten your leg, flex your foot, lock your knee in, cross your band for safety, sit up nice and tall, palms facing in, and pull, hold, release. Give me eight. Eight, hold, release. Pull seven, hold, release. Pull six, hold, release. Pull five, hold, release. Pull four, hold, release. Pull three, hold, release. Pull two, hold, release. Pinch that back. One, hold and release. All right, take that band off. Check my time. Ooh, we don't have a whole lot of time. Okay, wipe it off a little bit. We're taking this band around your body and under your arms. Okay, 
So sit tall, you're holding your knots or the end of your bands. Okay, we're going to rotate those knuckles up, press it forward, work in the chest, and bend the arms to bring it back. Ready, chest press. Take it out for eight and back. Exhale, seven and back. Push six and back. Push five and back. Push four and back. Push three and back. Push two and back. One and back. Oh, let me check my pen. Okay. Open your arms out nice and wide. Fly to the center. Here we go. It's in for eight and open. Seven and open. Exhale. Six and open. Exhale. Five and open. Four and open. Three and open. Two and open. One more. One. And open. Oh, release that. All right. Well, we hit our time limit because I want to get you all nice and stretched out. Go ahead and put that band back under your chair. Stay forward in your chair. Let's take that right leg out on the diagonal. Sit tall. Point your toe and give it a good hard flex. Fingertips come out over that toe. You want to lock that knee in and feel that good stretch in the back of your leg. Breathe. Good. Bring it in. Lift your knee. Point and flex right here. Ankle goes in a circle. And go the other way. Good. All right. Set it down. Other leg. Take that leg out off the diagonal. You're opening up through that inner thigh. Lock that knee in. Point your toe and flex it. Fingertips come out, deepening that stretch in the back of the leg. You need to practice straightening that knee. Those knees stay bent too much. Bring it in. Lift your knee. Point and flex right here. Ankle goes in a circle. And go the other way. Good. All right. Sit tall again. Lace those fingers together. Round your back. Pull those shoulder blades away from the spine. Oh, that feels good. We just used that back. Breathe. And release that. Okay, sit tall again, arms by your side. Roll the thumbs back. Tip your head back. And breathe. Good. And release that. Okay. Right arm comes across, left arm pulls it in. Drop that shoulder away from your face. I know you don't have a mirror, but you want to keep it level with the other side. Breathe. Good. And switch sides. Left arm comes across, the right arm tucks it in. Keep that shoulder low and away from your face. Good. And release that right arm goes up. Catch yourself on the back. Take two fingers. Push that elbow up towards the ceiling. Check your neck. Make sure your head is not turned and your chin's off your chest. Breathe. Good. And release that other side up and over. Take your two fingers. Push that elbow up. Check your neck. And breathe. And release that. Open up those arms. Turn your thumbs down to the ground. Press your palms towards the wall behind you. Stretching out those biceps. Woo, feels good. All right, bring it in. Time for those glutes. So, one ankle over one knee or as close to it as you can. All right, now, adjust yourself so you're sitting very tall. You've got good posture. You're going to hinge forward from those hips again. Tip it forward, not from the waist, but from the hips. You want to try and get your back as flat and parallel to the floor as you can. Shoulders should not be rounded. Deep breath in. Blow it out. Ooh, feel those muscles release. 
Let's do it one more time. Blow it out. Good. And switch the cross of your legs. Okay. All right. Check for alignment. Sit tall. Tilt that entire pelvis forward so your back is level with the floor. Good. Deep breath in. Blow it out. One more time. Deep breath in. And blow it out. Good. And release that. All right. Feet on the floor, arms by your side, rotate those wrists, and go the other way. Deep breath in, arms up overhead, and exhale, and one last time. Deep breath in, and exhale. Give yourself a big hand for coming to class today. Thank you for joining me. It is truly my pleasure to be here. Until next time, my friends, take care. Bye-bye.